Okay, uh, so let's um, try this problem. It asks uh, how many allylic and vanillic hydrogens are uh, found in the following compounds. So when you're looking um, at these two compounds and you see these terms allylic and vanillic, um, the portion of the molecule you want to be looking at or around is hopefully everybody thinks the alkene, right? Everybody's on that, on the same page at that point, right? Okay. So um, the hydrogens that are directly um, connected onto the alkene, those we call vanillic hydrogens, okay? So if we look at this double bond here, right, we can see it's got one, two, three substituents on it already. Is everybody okay with what I'm saying? So three substituents, it's got the three carbon atoms, okay? Three carbon atoms. So the other, so the double bond itself, right, can have four total substituents on it, right? What's the fourth one? It must be a hydrogen, right? Is everybody okay with what I'm saying? We good with that one? Okay, sure. So let's draw that hydrogen. Is that where everybody put it? Okay. So in this structure here, right, since we got three carbons and one hydrogen, there's only one hydrogen that's directly attached to the double bond. So we call it the vanillic hydrogen. So there's only one. Are we good with that one, my friend? Okay. So can we try this one together? When we look at the double bond here, how many carbons do we have attached directly to that double bond? Two, right? So the other two substituents must be what? Hydrogen atoms, right? So those two hydrogen atoms we would call vanillin. Is everybody okay with that? And they're, this one's there explicitly shown, right? Sometimes you won't even see that. It'll look like that, okay? So watch out about that. So we'll say two. Is everybody okay with vanillic hydrogens now? Okay, so allylic hydrogens aren't directly attached to the double bond, but you move one carbon away from the double bond and they're attached to that carbon, okay? So we call that carbon the alpha carbon, okay? So the carbon one away from the double bond is the alpha carbon. So we find allylic hydrogens on the alpha carbons, okay? Is everybody okay with that kind of terminology? So let's look at this double bond here, right? How many carbons do we have attached to, directly to that double bond, did we say? Three, right? Look, one, two, three, right? Three. So those are all alpha carbons. So I'm going to label them as such. So we'll say alpha, alpha, and alpha. Is everybody okay with that? So now all we do is count up the hydrogens on those carbons. So help me out. How many hydrogens are there on all three of those? Seven. Seven, right? So. Hopefully we can, we all see the three there, right? But remember, there's two there, and two there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We good? And then here, right, there's no carbons directly attached to this part of the double bond, right? But up here there are, right? So there, that means there's two alpha carbons, Everybody okay with that? Two alpha carbons? So how many allylic hydrogens are there on this one? Four. Four. Okay. So you might ask, why is that even important? Why do I care? It's because you'll find that in subsequent chapters or um, when you get to organic two, you'll see that there are reactions that react on uh, either the allylic or the vanillic um, hydrogens, 
Okay, so that's why we want to know. Yes. So this doesn't apply to alkynes. No, 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 no. Yeah, so it's just alkenes. Can we go over the one with the triple bond? Over the one with the triple Yeah, so let's do it in a different video. What do you oh, say? Oh, we're recording? Yeah. Uh -huh. sorry. That's all right. <laughs> you cut me out of that. No, no, no. It's, <laughs> it's good to be, you know, uh, what do you say, candid or whatever. What section is this? Uh, it's in the alkene section. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. <laughs>